Does that mean abroad is not as rosy as we think? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I will be talking about dissecting this story I saw on Insta blog Ninja on Instagram recently and it caught my attention. So I said let's talk about it here. Is a, a man, I think he's on Twitter, but Insta blog posted it. A man wrote about his friend that relocated, I think from uh, Nigeria to uh, Canada and he, this friend explained to him how he has not been uh, since he relocated things have not been easy for him to eat is even difficult to feed his family he said for months he was hungry he was starving just to feed his family that even when he's working he couldn't even all the all they could do was just to pay for rent and at some point that's what the money can that's how far the money can go that's what his salary even he cannot even feed himself so he has to starve to feed his family and so right now he said the wife has to work so they will be able to at least uh, feed or survive more because he cannot do it alone so the wife has to look for something to do so instead of just focusing on taking care of the children and he acts, according to what the man wrote he said he's even regretting that the friend is even regretting relocating, you know, selling his properties, like everything that, I, and even funny, you know, back then, I think he's doing well, but now that he has to, that he's regretting, and the funny thing is that they can't even go back because they can't even afford it. For somebody that <laughs> cannot even feed, how is he going to even save up to relocate back? Because relocating back is even a lot of money, flight ticket. And at least they have to have some certain amount of money so they when they come back they will have something to fall back on so they will invest so this got me thinking that what is going on so is the abroad not as rosy as we think that people just feel that once they relocate or um, uh, once they relocate from any country maybe from Africa especially let me talk about use Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria so does that mean that it's not as easy as we think because I just feel that once they go, things will just start working out and all of that. And I see these days people are just, you know, doing all sorts, selling their properties, selling their houses. Even those that are even doing well in Nigeria, like financially they are doing well. You just see them selling their properties or just taking all their life savings to relocate abroad. And when you ask them, they feel that it's because they are doing it for their children's future that although they said at first it might not be easy but later things will work out but the way it's going fine i know that if, if if you get there it will not be as rosy as you think but these days it's getting worse because i think this inflation or this uh, economic uh, hardship is everywhere all over the world so right now <laughs> the abroad like we used to think is not as easy as we all you know as we thought or as we think I see, I see people complaining these days that when they get there it's not always as rosy as they think because at least I have few friends that have relocated and some of them it's even difficult for them to get a job so is it really worth it because these days I don't I find it somehow people selling their houses you know resigning from their good paying job or just because they want to relocate they just feel that life will be better over there uh, it's not like like i always it's not everybody that even have that luck or that will make it there okay look at the case of this man now even if he wants to come back to to nigeria or something it will be very difficult for him because it somebody that barely feeds that can't even pay his rent or can't even feed his family they're not living with how is he even going to save up so you even it will take him years again for him to be able to save enough money because he cannot just come back to Nigeria empty handed. Even if he comes back, if and even if he comes back, he will have to start from square one again because if maybe if he's working before leaving Nigeria, it will be difficult for him to get a job again or start up a business. So he has to save enough money to be able to at least even when he, if even if he wants to come back for flight tickets, you know, when they come back, you get an accommodation, they live well, so before you will, you'll be able to stand on his feet. So my take on this is, is like, 
this relocation of a team, people should think about it well before relocating. Number one, it's not everybody, it's not everybody that are abroad with favor. Yes. In as much as people are going there doing well, some people will just see that for the rest of their life, they will just become like just living from hand to mouth or just trying to survive. Or maybe they just have the belief that their children will do well there. Maybe later life will be easier for their kids. Secondly, is another thing again is that people should stop this uh, habit of, you know, when you are doing well, fine, nobody knows they are fear. They are scared of uncertainty. They might lose their job or business. So it's better they just relocate not to, instead of taking the risk of staying back in Nigeria. They should think well. Not that you'll be doing well in Nigeria or uh, wherever you are, or even especially in Africa. All of a sudden, you say you want to relocate. You just feel that life will be better abroad. I know some people might not agree. They will say, well, because I'm still in Nigeria or because I cannot afford to relocate. That is why I'm saying this. But I find it awkward you know, for somebody that is doing well in Nigeria to just decide to relocate abroad. I just feel the best thing. If you have kids, is it not better maybe you just save up, try and send your kids there to school. Instead of going there, just uh, doing all sorts, trying to, you know, um, sell off everything or leaving things successful, how successful you are doing things or leaving your successful businesses or job, career and relocate that you now start from the scratch there because you cannot just go there and you know start doing well immediately unless it's somebody that may be from wherever you are or from nigeria you already you got a job that is when it will be you know somehow easier for you to relocate so people should think about this because this is it's not this is getting um should i say it's not funny anymore because now i notice that a lot of people that sold all they have they relocate, they are somehow regretting it. But sometimes they are ashamed to come outside and say it or admit. You know, they just keep struggling there, they just keep managing there. It's when you when you come in contact with them, that is when maybe if you are very close to them, they will open up and start telling you. So I think <laughs> is now everybody should just have to especially those that are doing well. Why just why are you relocating? Well, you can just stay in your country. I know Nigeria is not, the economy is not encouraging the, you know, insecurity, things are going on, but that doesn't mean people are not still making it or you cannot still make it in Nigeria. Okay, look now, the man, somebody that is living well, doing well for himself, all of a sudden, immediately relocates. He cannot even, he barely fit. So now that he's there between, and when he was in Nigeria, which one is better? So that's so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.